Hey y'all, Irick Sky here, and within this tutorial I'm going to explain how to save all of your photos and your videos in iCloud. So the Apple iCloud is storage on the internet, if you didn't know that. So whether you're using a Mac computer, whether it be a laptop or a desktop, an iPad tablet, and or an iPhone, this is how you'll do it. So the first thing you want to do obviously is determine which device or devices you use. So let's look at the iPhone first. Uh, this same procedure would be applicable for the iPad. So looking at the iPhone first, you want to go into your into your settings app. That's the little gray gear icon. So go into settings. Once you're in settings, at the very top, you should see your name at, at the top. So click your name at the top. Once you're there, look down a little bit and you'll see where it says iCloud. Go to iCloud. Once you're in iCloud, you can see your, your storage space. It'll say X gigabytes out of whatever terabytes. Now, if you don't have terabytes, if you've only got a few hundred, uh, if you've only got a few hundred gigs, you may want to consider upgrading your iCloud storage plan to more capacity. So if you wanted to do that, right there where it says manage storage, you can click manage storage and then you can see the various iCloud space upgrade options because obviously you would want to have at least enough space to store your photos and videos. So there's various, uh, various size plans that you can consider. So you'd want to do that first. Now after you've done that, after you've got sufficient storage space or maybe you already had a plan for your iCloud that already had a sufficient amount of storage space and you didn't have to upgrade. Okay, so after you've checked your storage space, what you'll do then is click at the top where it says iCloud and go back. Now, you will see down below, you'll see where it says Photos. So click Photos. And what you want to do here, and again, this is how I use it, and I'm going to explain why I have it set this way. So on both my iPhone and my iPad, I've got iCloud Photos toggled to Own which means it's green. And then I've got Optimize iPhone Storage. Now, I use Optimize iPhone Storage because if you read the description below, it says if your iPhone is low on space, full resolution photos and videos are automatically replaced with smaller device size version. Full resolution versions can be downloaded from iCloud at any time. So in a non-technical fashion, what that's saying is that on the iCloud, the full size video or the full size photo is stored. But if you use optimized iPhone storage, your iPhone is, is potentially showing a, a lower resolution version of that photo or video. And that just makes it, uh, makes it to where you don't have to have as large a store, storage capacity on your iPhone or your iPad. And then down below, I've got shared albums enabled. Uh, you can choose to do that to share with other people and uh, family, whatever. You know, that's, again, completely optional. But at a minimum, what I would do on my iPhone and my iPad would be obviously turn out iPhone iCloud Photos on and select the Optimize iPhone Storage option. Now, flipping over to the Mac computer, and this will be applicable for a, uh, for a Mac laptop such as this MacBook Air M1 or a Mac desktop, the Mac computers also have the Photos app. So when you're on your iPhone or your iPad and you go into the Photos app, those photos, when you launch the Photos app on your Mac computer, you can see the same photos. But again, on your Mac computer, you've also got to enable some settings. So on your Mac computer, where you want to go is also go into what it calls it System Preferences on the Mac computer. So go into System Preferences Okay, so within System Preferences at the top, you'll see your name, and then you'll see Apple ID. Click where it says Apple ID, and then you'll see Photos. So you can see I selected iCloud, and then I've got uh, Photos checked, and down below I've selected Optimize Mac Storage. The full contents of iCloud Drive will be stored on this Mac if you have enough space. Older documents will be stored only in iCloud. So when you have... If, again, if you use a Mac computer, an iPhone, and or an iPad, and if you do this, what I just showed you, on your iPhone and your iPad, 
if you snap a photo or video or capture a video with your iPhone or your iPad, a good way to test this would be to snap a photo, you know, make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi network, and then wait a few minutes and then go to your Mac computer and launch the Photos app. And if all is working well, you should see that photo and or video appear within your, your Mac's Photos app. Likewise, if you created on your Mac computer, say somebody, say somebody emailed you a photo, and then you save that photo within the Photos app on your Mac computer, within a few minutes, assuming you're connected to the Wi-Fi network and your iPhone, your iPad is also, within a few minutes you should be able to go to the Photos app on your iPhone or your iPad and see that, see that photo. So, you know, that's a test after setting this up. That's a test that I would suggest performing just to ensure that the settings that you applied are working properly. You know, and likewise, if you want to take it a step further, you could capture a photo and or video with your iPad and then see if it appears on your iPhone and then also your, uh, your Mac computer or Mac computers. You know, in my situation, I've got these three devices. You may have more devices, but this is something you, I don't, I don't think there's a hard cap as to how many devices you can, you can, uh, can use with your, with your iCloud account. But keep in mind, something I didn't mention earlier, you need to be logged into all of your devices with your iCloud account. So if it's somebody, uh, somebody else in your family that's using it, if they're not logged into the, yeah, I mean, if they're using their computer with their account, the setup for that's a little bit different. What I've just explained is one individual that owns, you know, more than one Apple device and that one individual wants to be able to share their photos and videos with all of their devices. And again, it's sharing it because those photos and videos, if you set it up this way, those photos and videos are stored in the iCloud, stored in the internet. So I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. And if you really liked it, feel free to support me on Patreon. I got a Patreon link down below. And I've also got Irix Guys Adventure Channel merch. So appreciate your support. Hope this helped. If you have any questions, comment below. And I'll try to post a follow-up video to respond to your questions. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.